there are identities that God has put on each one of our hearts that we all grow into no matter what our vocation is. And I think that it's important that we spend time praying about each of those identities. And in doing so, we kind of accompany Christ on his own journey through life and also discover our vocation in our own. The first identity that God gives to each one of us is that of a beloved son or daughter. This is the foundation of our life as Christians. We receive this identity through our baptisms. In fact, in his own baptism, Jesus was revealed as the beloved son of God the Father. And so when we begin to pray and grow in deeper union with God, the very first thing that we need to be aware of is that beloved identity as being a beloved son or daughter. We all experience sonship or daughterhood naturally in our own families, but we experience it, experience it perfectly, supernaturally, through the gift and grace of baptism. So spend time praying about your identity as a beloved son or beloved daughter, because when somebody asks you to describe yourself, this ought to be the very first thing that comes to your mind. The second identity that Jesus gives to each one of us and that we can discover and grow into in our own lives is that of being a brother or a sister. Some of us experience that naturally through our own families, having brothers and sisters at home, but we all have brothers and sisters of faith in the church. And what we learn about being a brother or sister is that the world doesn't revolve around me, that I belong to something greater than myself. And so the gifts and talents that God has given to me are meant to be nourished and developed for the other, not for myself. And that there's gifts and talents that I lack that I can receive from my brothers and sisters. In fact, in his ministry, Jesus reveals himself as brother. When people say, your family is waiting for you outside. And he says, who are my brothers, my sisters, my mothers? those who hear the word of God and act upon it. So Jesus reveals himself as the brother to all. And as we accompany him in our journey, we discover that we too are brothers and sisters in the Lord. The third identity that I think God gives to each one of us that we can discover in our lives is that of either being a husband or a wife, the spousal identity. And that we all have that identity written on our hearts, and we're all called to experience that spousal love in our lives, the way that we experience it is different depending on the vocation that God gives to us. But a spousal love is the love where we completely lay down our lives for the good of the other. Priest lays down his life for the good of his bride, the church. A husband lays down his life for his bride, bride for her husband, sister for her spouse, Jesus Christ himself. And so all of us are called eventually to lay down our lives completely and joyfully out of love, to give life and to help somebody else attain salvation and make it to heaven. And so we're all called, as Jesus reveals himself, as the bridegroom. And the bridegroom lays down his life freely on the cross for his bride, the church. And so when he calls us to follow him in a vocation, he's calling us in that spousal identity to also lay down our lives out of love. The final identity that God gives to each one of us is that of father or mother. That as we have made our progression, son, brother, husband, daughter, sister, wife, that eventually we share in that life-giving identity of father or mother. And we're all called to experience that as well, that as we make our Christian journey, we begin to share the joy and the life that only Christ can give to us with the next generation that a priest experiences spiritual fatherhood with all those in his parish. A sister experiences spiritual motherhood with all of those that the Lord has placed in her life. A husband and a wife obviously experience that natural and spiritual fatherhood and motherhood with their children. Jesus reveals himself to the disciples and says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And so he reveals again that as we grow in union with God through prayer, that eventually we start to have the love and the desires of God the Father in our own lives to share his grace and his joy with all of his children.